welcome everybody to PokerUpdate.com at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure 2016. Robbie Straczynski here with the man, Jason Somerville. What up? What up? How's it going? Doing very, very well. That's Not right. looking withered in the morning. Not even slightly withered. Not even slightly. Energetic to the highest degree. To the peak. That's We're right. Peaking, peaking in energy. That's at right. At 9 o'clock in the morning. Yes, this is like what? Day two though of PCA or day one technically. So I have energy today. Ask me in six days. I promise you I will not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll yes. do today, our... feeling great. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Very cool. So we'll jump right into it, Jason. How many years have you been coming to the PCA and you know, besides being a sponsored pro, what is it that keeps come, keeps you coming back? Yeah, every I've, year? I've been coming here now. I think this is my eighth time here, maybe my seventh time here. I mean, I've been coming here a lot. You know, this has always been a marquee event on the poker calendar. You know, I mean, there's something that's very unique about the PCA that just doesn't really exist anywhere else. That combination of like resorty atmosphere plus mm -hmm. high stakes poker action. You know, and over the last you know decade, this event has grown and grown and grown and evolved. And now the schedule this year is absolutely insane. Right. You cannot play the hundred k and still play a quarter million dollars. Of here. If you really wanted to, with all the hyper turbos wow. and everything going on, it's an amazing schedule with a huh. diversity of events, and everyone always has fun when they come here. So I think I like. might sign up for both. Also, I mean, yeah, like, that'll, that'll totally work. Fifty k, hundred k, right? Not? Yeah. What's the worst thing that can happen? Come right. on. <laughs> yeah. You lose the hundred fifty k, make some more videos. Nah, exactly. it'll be fine. Why do you think that some pros choose this series over the uh, Aussie Millions to start the year? Well, some people are going to do both. Oh, really? Yes, I, I see. And this will be actually my first year of going from PCA to Australia. Uh -huh. So I leave here on the 15th and I fly from uh, America to L to uh, Melbourne on the 18th or 19th or something. Right. So I have like a three day turnaround. I've never done that before. Wow. Um, oh, you'll be twitch twitching down there for Crown Poker? Yeah, we're well, going to be yeah? exclusively streaming the Austin Millions on RunItUp.tv. So we're awesome. doing the 100K, the quarter million, and the main event. Right. Uh, all coverage on RunItUp.tv. Well, you got to run it up. You got to right? run it up run down it up. under. <laughs> That's right. We'll just do that for the next 20 minutes if you want. We'll just make <laughs> voices together. Just yell at the camera and shake our hands. By the way, if you That's have what I normally do, by the way, in case oh, yeah? you don't know that. Yeah, just just go like this and yell. <laughs> Everyone loves it. For those who haven't seen, Jason was actually the PokerUpdate.com Baller of the Month for October. Nice. Great video that you yes. should absolutely check out. Nice. Um, so uh, Lee Jones uh, of PokerStars, he wrote on the PokerStars blog that you're going to be doing a lot of streaming here at the PCA. You want to tell us a little about that? Yeah, indeed. Actually, I'm going to start streaming today from just uh, you know a few days before the actual you know events begin here, just doing my normal run it up thing. Mm -hmm. And then as of the 8th, we're going to start doing the 100K final table. That'll be day one. And basically what we're doing is like, you know how we have a German language broadcast, Russian language broadcast. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm the Twitch language broadcaster. Is that so? And so I'm going to be streaming uh, on Twitch for <laughs> the entirety of the uh, PCA with 100K, the whole main event. And it's going to be awesome. You know, I mean, Twitch allows for a level of engagement that you just don't get on a regular broadcast. You know, mm -hmm. like when you're sh when you're broadcasting on ESPN, you're like presenting content. Right. You know, of it, on Twitch, it's a conversation. You know, we had 2.25 million lines of chat in between March wow. and December last year. So that's 2.25 two five million lines of shrieking to me last year. <laughs> you don't get that on ESPN. There's no shrieking back and forth. You know, but uh, on Twitch it's an amazing dynamic that we're actually wow. like it's more it's not just like, you know, we're showing you the PCA on Twitch, it's watch the PCA action with me. Right. You know, it's live in real time. Yeah, because there's no delay on this too, which I love because I usually show them the delay because I'm playing live, you know, I'm right. playing my online. own poker, so mm -hmm. I can't. But um, on this, I'll be streaming no delay, so I'll be able to talk to chat right back and forth. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited for it. Very cool. It's going to be I, a crazy month. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Let's hope so. PCA and the Aussie Millions, no delay, awesome. I get to stream 200Ks, one quarter million, two main events. <laughs> I love Man. how you're so excited about this. This is like absolute I'm genuine pumped. excitement. Yes. That's very cool. Yes. Well, you talk about like, you know, producing content and, you know, you recently uh, became a PokerStar sponsored player. You know, of course, you've achieved tremendous amounts at the poker table, but also for what you bring in terms of all that added value with with Twitch, with Run It Up, sure. do you feel like the traditional po uh, model for poker sponsorship is dying, and you know there's really got to be something ridiculously special that someone's got to bring to the table sure. for sponsorship? Sure, I, I actually wouldn't say that it's dying. I would say that it's dead. I would say it's oh, dead, wow. dead in the it. ground. Mm. Yeah, because we're in a spot right now where, like, you know, ten years ago the poker world was very different than it is today. If you're gonna have a poker sponsorship, I actually think that that word is just wrong. Like to me, I have a partnership with PokerStars. I have a partnership with Twitch. I love it. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're working together to mutual gain. 
You know, like I have goals I want to accomplish, Poker Stars has goals they want to accomplish, and mm -hmm. so in unison we're able to achieve those better than we could a separate. I like and it. And so I'm able to bring things to the table to Poker Stars. Like we had 16.5 million non-unique visits to run it up from March to December of this year. Those half of a sick numbers. Half of wow. a billion yeah. minutes watched. A thousand a billion years. Billion with a B. B. A thousand <laughs> years of human time spent watching me run it up on Twitch with my robotic bird. And this you know? man is not even 30 years old yet. 28. Yes. 28. 28. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. Uh, well, in 28 years, you've also accomplished, of course, a lot at the poker table. You've won a WSOP bracelet. You made a WPT final. Ten. You're like, that was yeah, forever yeah, ago. Yeah. That was so long ago. What? You know? Okay. So aside from the Twitch stuff, I also made a scoop final table stud high low. Come there on, you, you know go. that's my that's my most proud accomplishment of the last. That was few the years. he already predicted the question. His wow. most proud accomplishment was making a scoop final table and stud high low. Stud high low air to better. What what do I know about stud high low? I don't know anything about stud high low. And it was an amazing thing because you know that that, that <laughs> w coop was a it was an amazing series for us because we streamed every single day on twitch right. which were long days because w coop is obviously of a course. long tournament series and so we had i think i made like six or seven or maybe even eight caches and it was amazing people were tuning in every single day and some of those deep runs we had thirty-seven thousand people at the knockout uh seven hundred dollar buy-in knockout uh, no limit hold'em final table watching it was an amazing show record on twitch thirty-seven thousand concurrent people watching you know we're talking about like cable tv numbers to some extent here and then for the stud high low we had yeah. 27 7,000 concurrent people watching at peak, watching Stud High Low, a number that hasn't been reached since the ESPN era when they used to air like an episode of Stud. I gotta Back tell you, the all these viewers, it's not like Jason's got like a bulletin board up there reciting these numbers. He knows it. It's all here. Buddy, I live all the numbers. numbers. I live the numbers. That's it. Because You it, run the numbers. You, you have to know the numbers because otherwise, you know, Twitch is just a screen. You know, you don't understand the depth and the, 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 the the, really the breadth of, of Run It Up and what we've accomplished until you understand just the amazing metrics. Now, we've had tens of thousands of unique viewers from almost every country around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we look at you look at our, our viewership numbers and not only do we do amazing numbers in the UK and the US and Canada, you know, mm -hmm. Germany, like those big markets, but we have so many fans that love the show from Sweden and Norway and Estonia and, and all right. these other countries and South America and it's, it's Shout amazing. Shout out to the Estonians. No, no joke, I shipped a Run It Up hoodie to Africa this year. No Africa. kidding. In Japan, it's amazing all wow. around the world. Everyone's running it up all over the world. No kidding. Well, if you look around here, this is certainly not a dirty basement. This is a little nicer than the dirty basement. A little basement. nicer just, than the dirty basement. Just a smidge nicer. So I've got a question for you. You know, Poker Stars is expected to hopefully move into New Jersey, you know, maybe later this year, maybe next year. You don't know. Will we be seeing you streaming from like a dirty basement in Hoboken anytime soon? <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you something. I feel like uh, as as an American, the state of online poker is an absolute joke. You know, the fact that you have, uh, you can play, you can bet on lotteries and daily fantasy and horse racing in America. The fact that poker has not been given the same sort of like, okay, let's have a sane approach to online poker in America. The fact that that's not been happening, it, it really breaks my heart. And I get to hear so many Americans that watch the show and they go, why can't we play online poker in a safe and regulated environment? Sure. And I go, you know what? It makes no sense. Why not? I'm an adult American. All the things I can do in life, I can't play online poker for a dollar. It's so annoying. And you know what I've also realized in the last six months, Robbie? It's that there is really no one in America that is that is trying to like spearhead the motion, the movement for online poker in America. And you know what? I have hundreds of thousands of Americans that are just as <laughs> angsty as I am about this that want to see change. And you know, so I was I was honored to be a part of the Poker Stars Pro Tour in the summer. California, it, was, sure. it was amazing to, to go around and to meet with politicians and to kind of get a feel for what the issues were and what the sticking points were and to educate people there. Let mm -hmm. me tell you something. Sure. I, met, I met with a state senator in California and, and we were there to lobby for online poker regulation and all this stuff. The first question he asked me, he goes, is online poker legal in California? He asked you. He asked me this Are question. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. He doesn't even know? There is an education issue. He has to subscribe to your Twitch channel. I, I, you know what? I invited him to do that and I hope he's checked it out. I, I bet you he's know. watching right now. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's one of those things where like there's a big there's a big gap between, you know, in, in educating uh, not just politicians but also the public that, you know, online poker exists. You can play on black market offshore sites but you have no guarantee your money is safe. You have no guarantee the, the, that you're, that the games are R square mm -hmm. and the money can just poof in any second and, the, and we, as we've seen many times, it's happened to me, the players can just have their money just taken by the sites that just vanish in the night. Mm -hmm. I want to see regulated, you know, fair games that are built, taxed for the government. Yeah, you know, sure. how much money Let's is going Let's give the government overseas. money. Take I, the money. You would think so. And I actually think that we'll see. This is going to be a very interesting year between all the DFS stuff that's happening with, mm -hmm. the, with the, all the, the legal stuff that's happening with that. Because if certain things happen where DFS is allowed in certain jurisdictions and things, I think we might see an opening for, for poker to say, hey, why not us? If this is okay, why not us? We are also a skilled game. We are also, we also are kind of similar to some degree with... Uh, 
with that stuff. So I'm interested in fighting that fight. I, I want to fight that fight in New Jersey. So your answer is yes, I will be in Hoboken in a dirty basement. Hoboken! As soon as they say go, I will be there. Maybe part of a PokerStars live tour getting Trenton and like, uh, like Atlantic City or a, Margate. I'll, yeah. I'll run it up live tour, my friend. Run it up! I, I, I prefer we do my branding and then we co-brand from there. I love it. That's, that's it. the partnership. That's, that's the partnership right there. Okay, a couple questions and we'll finish it up here. So we've been asking everyone, so what are you doing away from the tables? How do you chill when you're not stacking the chips of other players or switching? Uh, well, you know, I put 1,100 hours in of streaming last year, which That's works it? out to be like three hours so a day. So lazy. Yeah. My so, God. so the idea of taking like time off is not really like a thing to me. I actually kind of like very aggressively feel like I don't have time off because I just am, you know, like I'm just doing what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. it's not like I'm working. I'm always just, you know, this is how I feel. This is my passion, you know. It's not, it doesn't even feel like work. No, of course Same not. Same for me. Yeah. I totally agree well, with you. Well, that's how life should, that's how ideally, that's how life should be, right? You're Love enjoying. what you do. Exactly. For sure. And then it's not work. You're just, you're just living it. So, you know, I still enjoy the UFC. I I enjoy playing video games. I've played a ton of League of Legends and things like that. So, you know, I enjoy watching Twitch. I watch a ton of Twitch content that's not my own. And, uh, you know, I had an awesome, an awesome little, like, powwow yesterday with uh, Jamie Staples and Kevin Martin, two of the right. other Twitch poker bosses. I saw so, that tweet. Yeah, yeah sure. it was a lovely, like, mind meld for the for the three of us. I had never <laughs> met Kevin before. This so. is Twitch ease, a mind meld. It was a mind meld. Imagine two find... minds melding together. <laughs> melding together. You won't find that in Webster's Dictionary. No, yeah, yeah but it's no, in the dictionary not. of Jay Carver. Yes, of, as are many other words <laughs> that I say that are not in the traditional dictionary. But runitup.tv for all your linguistic needs. They, I studied English linguistics in college. Wow. You know, yeah, nice. it was very cool. My favorite class in, in college, which I wasn't there for very long, but there was like an ancient Greek and Latin sort of like etymology roots of words. I loved that class. That was my favorite one, <laughs> for sure. Cool. Well, yeah. last plan question, and then we got a surprise for you. Oh, I love it. Okay, so where can you find some um, Annie's mac and cheese or a great turkey burger. Oh my god. On Paradise Island. I Thomas. wish, I wish. I had I had hoped that, that I had tried to find out a way where I can like ship like all the food down here, but unfortunately <laughs> I'll be eating like turkey sandwiches okay. and like uh, I don't I can't find a substitute for delicious <laughs> Annie's macaroni and cheese. People laugh and they go, Oh you must be joking. Surely you don't just eat turkey burgers and macaroni and cheese. And I go, no, once in a while I'll eat like frozen yogurt too. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, and but people think I'm joking, but really every almost of the last year, almost every single day, like with maybe like 12 exceptions, I ate macaroni and cheese for breakfast, and almost every day I ate a turkey burger for dinner. Yeah, but you don't have numbers. How many boxes of cheese? How many? You're like, what's the numbers, I Jason? Should've, I should have kept those boxes stacked up. <laughs> I could have a little, a little house for like an animal or something by now. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. for sure. Well, we're going to surprise you with one last thing. A little pork chop for the fans oh, here. Oh, nice. We've I love it. We've got a question from the hat. Crescent so, the would you kindly pick one question and wow. read it for everybody the on the pressure. camera? I'm going to take the big, the big, the big uh, one the big and one read here. it to the camera like the for everybody. Questions. All right, here we go. All right, which smell do you prefer? Oh, I love it already. Fresh cut grass or baby powder? Well, to be honest, <laughs> neither of those things are in my dirty basement. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> preferring either of these, I would say fresh cut grass because you know what? I do enjoy going outside once in a while just to remind myself why I don't like to go outside. Right. So I would say the fresh cut grass. Fresh cut grass. You heard it here first. That's right. PokerUpdate.com. We're at right. the PCA. Be sure to tune in. You'll find him at Jason Somerville on Twitter. We're at Poker Update. Be sure to tune in. Runitup.tv for peaking. all this PCA. That's right. Peaking and PCA action. There you go.